Hello there and welcome back to the Chaps Guide, the channel where we talk about men's style, self-development and personal grooming. And today I'd like to talk about the shirt collar. It's something which can have a really significant impact upon the way that you look, the confidence that you bring to the clothes that you wear and the impression that you give to other people. Because I don't know if it's been like it for you in the past, but you, sometimes you just can't get your collar to sit right. And you know, there's nothing worse than having an errant uh, collar wing sticking out. It really just has an impact on the way that you feel that you're looking and your poise and bearing when you're meeting people and you're just trying to keep everything under control. Particularly, as is very, very much more common in the modern era, where men are less inclined to wear ties because your collar generally on a dress shirt is designed to be closed, uh, particularly when you're wearing a tie or a bow tie if you're so inclined to wear those. But if you don't wear any sort of neck adornment and you wear the collar open, uh, you know, the, the dress shirt isn't designed for that to a degree and you will find that sometimes those collars will not lie as you wish. So there are ways that you can control that collar and these are the two which I favour, quite simple, quite straightforward, quite inexpensive, might work for you too. So the first of my collar control mechanisms that I recommend is the good old collar stay. Not the plastic one which comes attached with your shirt inside that collar stay slot inside the collar, but a metal one. Now I normally go seeking these out on eBay or Amazon. They come quite inexpensively. You don't have to pay a lot of money at all because you will see some brands out there which cost a fortune. There's no need for that. Go cheap, buy metal stainless steel and they just slot into that slot and they add a great deal more rigidity to your shirt collar. However, the one great advantage they have is that they can be held in place with a magnet. So as I'm doing now, I hope you can quite see it, but my collar stay has been held by a magnet on the inside of my shirt, up tight to my collar. It makes that collar hold the position it's in now throughout the day, regardless of what happens. So if I wear a cravat or anything like that, it doesn't matter. I know my collar is always going to lie in the fashion that I want it to. And these are really inexpensive as well. You know, I picked them up for just a few pounds. You get quite a few for just a few pounds. Uh, they're really long lasting. Of course, they're made of stainless steel and a small magnet. They'll go on forever and ever. I've had some for probably five or six years. The only thing happens, you might lose a magnet now and again, but uh, you know, you, you normally can pick them up for just pennies. Uh, and that way you'll always control that shirt collar, no matter what situation you find yourself in, just gives you confidence to look your best when you're out and about, when you're not wearing uh, any form of tie or anything else around your neck. Now the second of my collar control mechanisms that I highly recommend are these Velcro stick-on pads. No particular brand, I tend to pick them up when I see them, buy them off Amazon, eBay, things like that. These black ones I even bought in a local budget supermarket. They cost a pound for 70 pads, so they will last a long time and they're great, great value. Uh, they're designed to be stuck on fabric and they're ideal if the shirt that you want to wear, which doesn't have a, a collar which conforms to your standards, um, it doesn't have a, a slot for the collar stay, you can use one of these instead. They're very handy if you're wearing a polo shirt or a casual shirt, which, as I say, doesn't have collar stay slots. So great for helping control those things. Not just for collars though, you can actually use them. Say for instance, you're wearing a shirt and you wanna have the collar undone as I am today, not wearing a tie, very warm in the summertime. Um, but the gappings between the buttons of the placket are too far apart for you. You know, it looks as if your, your chest's hanging out. You don't want the chest here, the wig hanging out. So you can put one of the pads perhaps halfway between the two buttons. That way it gives you a far greater control of the clothes that you're wearing. They're very handy. They can all, always be used in emergencies as well. So if your the hem of your trousers um, falls down, the stitches fail or whatever, you can pop one of those in place. Always handy to keep one or two nearby for situations where you may need them. And as I say, they cost pennies. They're highly useful and uh, you know, always worth having to hand in case of an emergency. Now, of course, there are a number of other collar control 
systems that are available commercially. Um, you know, I've seen some of these plastic sort of collar controllers that you have to fit in round the back of your neck. And there are some which you put down, you have to insert into the placket, which involves a little bit of tailoring as well. Uh, but for me, these sort of things, they're okay. They seem to be quite expensive. And certainly if you're gonna be requiring tailoring, you know, you'd have to do that for every shirt that you intended to wear. And for me, I've got 30, 40 shirts in my personal collection. So it would be financially inviable for me to do that. So the systems which I've talked about, the, the metallic collar stays and the fabric Velcro pads, they're extremely cost effective. They can be used from shirt to shirt to shirt. They cost very little, so you can use as many as you like. The metal collar stays, they're reusable. You just keep using them over and over again, year after year. They can be with you forever if you look after them and you don't lose them. So for me, that's the route that I always go to keep my shirt collars under control, looking good, giving a great first impression when I meet people and giving me the confidence in my clothes that I look for so that I feel great when I go out into the big wide world. And I recommend them to you. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this short video today on controlling your shirt collar. If you have, please give us a thumbs up and think about subscribing to our channel as well. Helps the channel grow, join our community and contribute to it by leaving some comments in the comment section below. It's great to hear from you and I definitely do respond to almost everyone that I receive. So until the next time we have the chance to meet, take care of yourselves and your families and we will see each other again very soon.